In the sky above Akrotiri, the Red Arrows returned. Until 2014, the team came here each spring to practice before the start of show season. But with the station now the hub of RAF missions against Islamic State, that's no longer possible. The Reds have been touring the Middle East, representing both the RAF and UK PLC, performing over cities across the region and even a World Heritage Site. It's played in Jeddah, first time for 20 years, and then across the east and most of the GCC, so Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain, Oman, and probably the highlight was in one day getting from Oman out to Pakistan, displaying in Karachi, which is the first time the team has displayed there. And then we were given all of Jordan for one hour below 3,000 feet. So we we're helping the tourist board there. We did eight fly paths around the country. Phenomenal hour, actually, because we got to display or we got to fly past uh, over the Dead Sea, Koresh and over Petra. I had to lead 10 aircraft 400 miles an hour into a 3,000 foot valley safely within eight feet of each other's wingtip and we had just that one moment to capture the image, which Red 10 did. Uh, I'm sure that's an image that will go around the world for the next year or so. In the past year, the Red Arrows have displayed in 26 countries. This defence engagement, as it's called, also benefits UK industry. It's estimated their visit to China generated £8 billion worth of business. Selection for the team is tough, with only the best RAF pilots able to don the famous red flying suit. Well, to join the team you need 1,500 fast jet hours. When we join the team you do six months of very, very intense training, five days a week flying three times a day. Um, so that's, that's very intense, um, but once you've completed that, uh, in May you end the red flying suit and then you're into straight in, into display flying over the UK. Um, so we enjoyed that summer this, this year uh, and the tour, as I say, marks the end of our, my first year on the team. And for you as pilots, as individuals, for your families as well, to, to put the red suit on, I mean, I imagine if you wanted to be a pilot since you were a little boy, it's, that's quite a moment. Definitely. I think uh, two hairs on stand, standing from the back of your neck moments would be flying over Buckingham Palace in a red arrow, uh, flying the flag over Buckingham Palace. That was fantastic. But also over my home air show at Eastbourne with friends and family on the beach, watching that uh, every year. Um, and getting the opportunity to display over that display site in a Red Arrow was a very proud moment. Vital to the Red Arrow's success are the team's ground crew, known to all as the Circus. Engineer Alicia Mason joined at Christmas, and as Circus One gets to sit in the back seat of the lead aircraft as they transit between displays. So I joined the Air Cadets when I was about 15, but I had no intention whatsoever of joining the Air Force. Do you know, to me, when I just started the Air Cadets, it was all about drill and discipline. I thought, I don't really see myself doing that in the future. But actually, the more I got to spend time um, away at sort of Easter camp or summer camp at RAF stations and talking to engineers, talking about their job and what it was like, everyone had a really positive attitude and they just they had nothing negative to say about their career about their jobs and I thought well I want a piece of that um, you know I like maths and physics so what can I do with that as a career that's going to be exciting and fun and something different and here I am so 20, almost, you know, 20 years later actually living the dream Red Arrows, runway 10 for takeoff, surface wind 1908 knots both cables de-rigged and barrier up light clear for takeoff, Red Arrows after an overnight stay, it was time for the Red Arrows to depart. 5,000 feet above Akrotiri, this was the view from an 84 Squadron helicopter as the Reds departed out to sea, turned and crossed the peninsula in their signature Diamond 9 formation and on to Athens. Despite the financial pressures on military spending, Defence Secretary Michael Fallon confirmed last year that the Red Arrows' future was secure. Their ambassadorial value to the UK far outstripping their cost, touring the world, flying the flag for Britain and the RAF.